Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. Today we're going to look at a big hole someone punched in Western Australia about half a billion years ago. Now called the Schumacher Crater, it used to be called the Tigring. It's an impact structure, deeply eroded. Doesn't rain much here, but enough over half a billion years, about a hundred kilometres north of Waluna. Uh, they don't know how old it is, but the granite it's punched through is two and a half billion years old, and some potassium argon dating of the melt looks like about 500 billion years. So it's uh, 500 million years, I apologise. It's uh, half a billion years old. So uh, we'll have a little bit a look at the um, at the geology and just where this thing is in the landscape. So here's a Google Earth shot of uh, the crater. Not much to look at. Uh, here it is in a geography, uh, geology I should say. You should see the uh, T granite is the dark brown. And here's another geological map. And I ringed uh, the little town of Waluna there and there's the crater structure. They're 100 kilometers apart. West Australia is a big place. And uh, I've done it again here for you just off an actual map. There are no roads. You would just have to bash your way through. Now, why is it called Schumacher? Well, it's named after an amazing guy called Schumacher. No, he's an amazing guy, but not that one. Schumacher, this guy, Eugene Schumacher, an American geologist, an amazing guy. Born in 1928, uh, really got into the astrogeology and worked with the Apollo program. Uh, had did a lot of work on uh, impact craters and shock quartz, etc. Uh, he was trained to go to the moon as an astronaut but unfortunately uh, had a health issue that prevented him from traveling but uh, didn't stop him having his picture taken in a space suit. I don't think that's the one that actually went to the moon but that was they trained in. Uh, and uh, did a lot of work at Behringer Crater in the United States in Arizona. There he is there. Why is that so squashed now? It is what it is. Uh, an amazing guy and uh, his wife uh, Carolyn was also uh, an astronomer so we have a geologist and an astronomer and uh, they are just an amazing couple in their own right um, you might have all heard the Schumacher Levy um, comment that hit Jupiter this is these guys now unfortunately uh, they had a car accident on the Tanami track in the Northern Territory on their way to see Wolf Creek crater which is still a quite old crater in Australia but quite well preserved and unfortunately um, Eugene was uh, fatally injured and his wife was seriously injured. This is the Tanami track, goes from Alice Springs through to Hall Creek, goes right past the uh, the uh, Wolf Creek crater. Um, here's a Google picture of the uh, Tanami track. There is absolutely nothing there. This is really desert country. And uh, yeah, I'm going to just put up a little animation of the Wolf Creek crater, which is a rather well preserved crater but it's a lot older than the uh, a lot older than the one in America this is probably 120,000 years old so it predates uh, Aboriginal uh, occupation of Australia very well preserved and this is the Tanami track the Tanami track goes past the Wolf Creek crater so you can just drive over to it but it is 15 or 20 k's and uh, yeah they never made it uh, they had their accident back in the Northern Territory a little bit more about that in a second Now, I'm not completely understanding this because this is what the Tanami Desert Road looks like mostly. Couldn't hit a tree if you tried. There's one or two cars a day down it and these guys managed to have a head-on accident on it that killed them. So that's a real shame. It really was because they were looked like a great couple. And uh, Carolyn went on. She died at 92 a year or two ago. So she went on to do a lot. Now, Jean is well known for another reason. This is the... Uh, NASA Lunar Prospector and uh, on this unit there was a polycarbonate vial with some of Gene's ashes in it and eventually they crashed this into the south pole of the moon to put up a plume and eject a plume so that they could get some hydrogen readings to see if they could find water and Eugene's ashes were in there and believe me he is the first man buried on the moon at the speed this thing went in he's definitely buried on the moon and he's still the only human buried on the moon so Eugene is the man in the moon and uh and still is and that bright spot there is the south pole and here they are a couple and they certainly do they're both past now but the, their work will go on forever and uh a lovely couple and certainly deserve to be remembered <laughs> 